They tell us that man searches for God in all manner of ways and means. When man cannot find God with the intellect. Man cannot find God with his mind. Man cannot find God with his thinking. To be honest with you, man cannot even find God. It's impossible unless God reveal himself to us. God must reveal himself. God must show himself. God must reveal himself. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you know why you get happy? Do you know why something rolls through your soul? Do you know why it flows into your heart? Some call it emotionalism. Others call it a display of fleshly exhibitionalism. But that's not what it is. It's the glory of God in the face of Jesus that shines in your heart and explodes in your breast and lets you feel the life of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't ever lose it. Build your seminaries, build your colleges, but don't lose the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Get your education, but don't lose the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Build your big churches, but don't lose the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Do what you want, but don't lose the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Now, there are efforts made to reach God. And man bases his religions on prophets or stories or fables. But there are three books in the world that basically purport to be from God. Only one really is. Those books are the Bible, the Koran, and the Book of Mormon. Now, the Book of Mormon, I don't mean to be unkind, but is basically little more than fable. It doesn't have any of the Word of God in it unless it bars it from the Bible. The Koran is the result of a demon in mind that is twisted by the powers of Satan purporting to be from God. There's no gospel in it. But the Bible that I hold in my hand today, this word that I hold in my hand is not fable, it's not story. It is the word of Almighty God. It is that which God used to create the earth and create the heavens. <clears throat> Many years ago in Dayton, Tennessee, in the Scopes Monkey Trial, William Jennings Bryan defended this book against evolution. His opponent was Clarence Darrow. Clarence Darrow with a sardonic laugh ridiculed the Word of God and stated, anybody with any sense could not believe this because of that ridiculous story in Genesis where it talks about God saying, let there be light. And there was light. And then a little later it said, he made the sun. And with a laugh he says, you can't have any light without the sun. That poor, educated ignoramus All right. didn't know what he was talking about. If he had known anything about the Word of God, he would have known that God made the sun a long time ago. And this whole world has its being and the sun shines in the heavens not because of science or chemistry or, or any of this, but it has its being because of the Word of Almighty God and the light of Almighty God because God created all things. The Word of God is the only answer to the problems of mankind. Yes, sir. And I, I want you, to, you preachers to, to know this, to sense this, to feel this, to understand it. This book, the Word, 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Today we endeavor to use other means to solve the problems of humanity, and you preachers must not do it. Major in this book. Stay in this book. Let this book feed your heart, feed your soul, feed your spirit, feed your being. The Word of God. Preach the Word. It's the Word that heals. It's the Word that saves. It's the Word that fills with the Holy Ghost. It's the Word that lifts men up. It's the Word that solves the problems of humanity. The Word of God. Yes, sir. The Word is the only answer, not psychology, not philosophy, not higher education. The Word of God. Hallelujah. I told my people this morning at Family Worship Center in Baton Rouge that in Pentecostal circles today we are getting quite educated, and that's not bad. God places no premium on ignorance. But we are thinking that somehow we can use the wisdom of the world that James said is earthly and sensual and devilish to solve the problems of mankind. Let me tell you something. When you've got a problem in your, in your home, when you've got a problem in your life, when you've got a problem in your spirit, the psychologist is not going to be able to help you. Pentecostal circles, we think today we'll send them to the psychologist. That's not the answer. Send them to Jesus. Send them to Jesus. Send them to Jesus. Give them the word of Almighty God. Let the word take root in their hearts and lives. It'll still solve the problem. It's still the answer for the dope addict. It's still the answer for the alcoholic. It's still the answer for those that are bound by sin. The word, the word, the word. Hallelujah. 